This is an advertisement for Bertula Plush, the creators of Animoodles. Hi, little gators. Today we have some very special friends who come to visit from a very long way away. They're called Animoodles. Check it out. Yeah, check out our Animoodle friends. Our first friend here is Brandy Lion, who has some really cool hair, and Randy Orangutan with even crazier hair. And Iris Unicorn has a beautiful magic horn. Hey guys, do you know what I really like about our Animoodle friends? Is they can move their arms yeah. and legs. Super cool. Check it out. Hey, Iris is waving at you. Hey! Whoa. Her arm came off. What? We can take off her arms, and what else? We can take off her legs, too. Super cool. Yeah, she looks like a seahorse. <laughs> yeah, she does look like a seahorse. <laughs> but check it out. Whoa. Her legs just go right back on. Wow, so you can take her apart and put her back together again. Yeah, it's kind of like a science experiment. Let's see if we can get her arms back on. Whoa. They go right back check on. Check it out, it Ooh. sticks. Hey guys, look! You can even move Iris' head! It looks like she's ready to go walking or to go gallop away! Maybe she'll find her way home! Iris is actually from a whole other world! She's adventurous and flies around everywhere, but right now she's lost. Hopefully the Animoodles can help her find her way back to her home in Swirltopia. And then there's Hazel Sloth with a beautiful flower in her hair. And the yellow frog, he's green just like me. And I like it already. Animoodles are super new. They just came out in February. Hey guys, all of our Animoodle friends are so cute. Check out Brady. His fur is so thick and he looks so strong. What do you think? Mm -hmm. oh, no, we can be friends. Yeah, we're all going to be really best friends. Brady grows his own food on his own farm in the wild jungle. And he's a vegetarian, remember? Oh yeah, that means he doesn't eat meat. So let's put Brady's paws on Iris. You okay? How about we switch their bodies? Now Iris' head is on Brady's body. We've got a unilion corn. Whoa! Hey, I wonder, would they live in the sky or would they live in the wild jungle? I don't know. So how do these stick anyway? They're magnets, Gus. They hold everything together. Cool. See? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Look, they're really strong, too. Wow. And what about Randy, Gus? I think he likes hanging around in trees. That sounds like a bunch of bananas. Actually, he really likes fruit. He has his own smoothie shop. And he's the leader of all of the animals in the wild jungle. Hey, look, Gus. Randy's arms and legs come off, too. And I can put his legs where his arms should be. <laughs> wow, he looks funny. Hey, look. And now he's crawling around on his, on his legs, which are really his arms. Hey, Gus, I have an idea. What's it? Let's put Miguel's arm on Randy's body. What? You can do that? Yeah. What kind of an animal would this be now? Hmm, an orangafrong. I think it'd be like a frog orangutan. Yeah, sounds good. I think he would hop from trees to tree instead of swinging. That looks crazy. I wonder what story Miguel has. Yeah, I'll check it out. He's very really happy. He likes to hop everywhere. He wants to hop on every single lily pad in the wild jungle. And what about Hazel, Rainbow? Does she like to take naps? I think she likes to take naps, huh? Hazel likes to hug trees, Gus. It says it right here in her card. And she likes to do yoga so that she can stay very calm. She's also very wise. Hmm, that's nice. Well, we haven't used the uh, orangutan, so uh, how about uh, you and orangutan? Yep, that sounds good. <laughs> a uni orangutan. Okay, we'll take the unicorn head, put it on the orangutan body, <laughs> and put some unicorn legs. Yeah, that's pretty funny. How about that? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, how did the animals get this way anyway? Gus, they all have a magical story. Long ago, a super volcano named Mount Moody got angry and erupted. This transformed all of the animals into animals, creatures with swappable parts. Hey, what else should we make? We should make a unirang 
It's not frog. Yeah, let's try that. Unisloth frog. Okay, so let's take Iris body and some of Hazel's, Hazel's arms. Mm-hmm, and a frog, yep. And put a frog, let's put on a, a frog head too. Ta-da! Yeah, looks kinda like me. It does kinda look like you. There's some green and then there's some crazy hair. Except you don't have crazy hair, Gus. Nope, no hair. You know what, Rainbow? What's that? Two heads are better than one, but let's try five. Okay, let's try all five heads. All right. Let's put them on Miguel. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five. Wow. <laughs> there we go, five. There's all five of our heads on one. One, two, three, four. Ah, what comes after four? Oh, five. <laughs> right, Gus. Yeah, five. Hey, Gus, check it out. We made an animoodle wheel. Yeah, it's like a merry-go-round. All right, we can play all day. There's so many ways we can mix up the animoodles. We could be here all day long. Gus, I had so much fun today with our new animoodles friends. How about you? Yeah, animoodles are my new friends. Parents, if you want to find more out about the animoodles, go to theanimoodles.com. Thanks for watching my show today, little gators. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! If you had fun today, click my other videos to see me and my yummy gummies. Click on the red button to subscribe to watch more of my videos and my yummy gummy adventures.